There is a new plane variant to unlock here in Battlefield 5, the JU-88 Model C, and while most people were quite excited about that 75mm anti-tank cannon, I discovered something even more fun, butterfly bombs. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. But before we get to those late tier unlocks, let's go ahead and talk about the default loadout at level one for this JU-88C. Unfortunately, especially compared to the Mosquito, this is a, a really underwhelming starting loadout. You have a very weak front-facing machine gun, as well as just two 250 kilogram bombs, and one quick repair, which you can resupply at the fly-through resupply points. The 88 is of course much less agile than the Mosquito, and in theory the rear-facing passenger machine guns that you can quick switch to should help make up for that lack of maneuverability, but because the 88 takes so much damage from those Mosquito's front-facing cannons, a lot of the times you can get killed in just one or two hits, the rear-facing passenger machine guns really don't mean much at all. If you have a fighter on your tail, you might have enough time to spray them with those machine guns and get them off your tail, but if it's that new mosquito behind you with that front-facing cannon, and let me tell you, there are a ton of those flying right now on the Allies' side, your 88 is going to be doomed. You're going to be cut out of the sky with just a couple of shots. So, unfortunately, the level 1 grind is going to be pretty awful for the JU-88C. Those two bombs are just next to worthless, and you're going to have to have pinpoint accuracy just to get one or two kills with them. I got most of my upgrade points from dealing with enemy aircraft, helping our fighters take down mosquitoes and things like that, instead of attacking ground targets, which is pretty sad for a bomber. Your initial unlocks also aren't super helpful if you're going down the right hand of the tree. You've got some air radar, which really doesn't give you enough time to get away from a mosquito if they're coming up behind you. By the time that your radar is going off, they're already going to be behind you. That being said, I think the right hand tree, like a bunch of people have already pointed out, is going to be a lot easier to unlock this plane with though, because if you start with the left hand tree, you're going to lose your bombs really quickly while still not having that 75mm anti-tank cannon that everyone was looking forward to. So yeah, probably start with this right hand tree, even with its less exciting upgrades. You'll just keep your bombs for longer. The center option for the armored fuselage will help you tank at least a little bit of that damage from the mosquitoes, and it'll definitely help with flak as well, as you're trying to keep cranking through this specialization tree. Your third option down the right hand side is going to be the passenger machine gun upgrade, but again, that's really not that useful because your passenger machine guns are more of a uh, standoff annoyance weapon than anything actually useful, even after that upgrade, so just kind of unlock it and move on. What is much more interesting is the final unlock on the right hand tree, these 4 x 20 millimeter ventral mount auto cannons. I couldn't quite figure out what these were for at first. When attacking ground targets, you had to get pretty close to get accurate fire with them, leaving you open to Panzerfaust attacks from assault players on the ground, knocking you out of the sky. But what this auto cannon setup excels at is absolutely shredding enemy aircraft. If you get behind an enemy Spitfire with this thing, you essentially just delete it out of the sky with one good long burst. That is going to be tough, seeing you have the maneuverability of a bomber, but it was pretty fun to play with for just a little while at least. Let's see what these things can really do here. You got a mosquito, I think. No, a heavy bomber. Oh yeah, that shreds it. I think that was mostly me, even with the help of the flak. Speaking of flak, I think the gun over here at Charlie's going. Yep. Some quick bombs off. I think I missed the gun and got somebody else, but I'll take it. And 
And of course, here comes a fighter. I'm already torn up really bad. Come on, quick repair. See if I can stall him out here. <laughs> yep, there he goes. Alright, I'm gonna duck and run here. I think I'm clear. Oh, seriously, Flack. Okay, now I think we're clear. Top off my health there and then hopefully get back into things over here. That is a mosquito. And <laughs> there it goes. Ooh! I think my my wing disabled the engine. And then the guns. Wow, those are fast. Unexpectedly though, the upgrade that I had the most fun with was actually the butterfly bombs. This is the middle and final unlock requirement if you reset your tech tree and jump right back to it there in the center. And it's going to actually supplement your two relatively useless bombs. The cool thing about this is you get a nice spread as you're dropping these over an objective. The main downside to them is they're very glitchy if you're taking anti-aircraft fire as you're dropping them. Once you start dropping them, you can't cancel it, which means any flat going off around you is going to detonate your entire cargo load of butterfly bombs and blow you out of the sky with a death to accident. I think they're capping Delta here. Oh, really? Again? Ugh. This does feel more like an annoying, unintentional bug than a purposeful design decision, but we'll see if it's ever fixed. I'm going to have some more gameplay with those butterfly bombs because they were just a surprising amount of fun, even with the flak issues. But first, let's talk just briefly about that left hand specialization tree. That's where it's got that 75 millimeter anti-tank gun that everyone was so excited for. It's got that nasty looking muzzle brake on it. Very, very mean looking. But it's actually far inferior to the Mosquito's six pounder cannon, which is significantly smaller. Looks like we got some runners out here. Yeah, the Mosquito definitely outshoots the 88. These guns are so fast. It's just so agile, too. The JU-88's 75mm cannon here fires much, much slower, and it also appears to do less damage even against enemy aircraft. Where's that tank? There he is. Miss and hit and hit. Yeah, the fire rate is just so slow. Wait, 14 damage? Are you kidding me? You can get some pretty cheeky shots with it occasionally, but for the most part, especially after flying so much of the Mosquito, uh, Mark 6 here in the last week, this cannon is just very underwhelming. Worth an unlock for sure, but uh, wasn't quite worth getting as excited over it as we were. Let's go ahead and roll some gameplay with those butterfly bombs though, because I think, again, they were the most surprising amount of fun that I had with this aircraft. There's this weird standoff happening with the enemy fighters. They're not attacking our bombers. I think they're worried about us spawning fighters. So I'm just gonna try and look for objectives that are getting captured and just mine them as I go by. You do have to fly pretty low. I'm gonna get rocketed, I think. Ooh, tank approaching B. Didn't quite turn hard enough, just got a partial hit with the bombs. <laughs> There's a guy running. Try to get him with the cannon, got him. And they just captured B again. Drop some bombs. Ooh, vehicle destroyed. I wonder if that was a spawn beacon or something else. They just got Foxtrot 2. Ah, my bombs aren't ready yet. Come back around. Attention, 
Lots of tracers down next to Echo. There we go. <laughs> that alleyway is the ticket, I think. Gotta watch for those gunfights. Drop the mines right on top. Speaking of tracers, look at Beta down there. There you go. Come on. Ooh. What is that? Five or six, I think? That was right down the embankment. That was perfect. They do take a while to rearm, so I'm gonna swap to bombs and cannons. So hard to see at distance. There we go. This feeling like the fighters are going to come for me at any second. Yeah, their team's noticing too. Ooh, flat gun, flat gun. Uh, please don't be a tank. Okay, <laughs> yeah. It was just a, a toad stationary. Yeah, those spits are definitely just ignoring me. Uh, they're spawning flat guns now, though, like actual mobile AA. That's not good. Yeah, okay, so that's a definite downside to this specialization loadout is I can't do anything against AA. I don't think we have any other bombers up, so I basically just have to avoid them. Not bad for the 250 bombs there. Got a couple. Ooh, three actually. The AA is actually sitting on uh, Echo down there. That was way too high to drop those bombs. Didn't get anything. He's locking down the map for me. Still at Echo. On. Hopefully someone else hits him. Ooh, ooh, second flat gun. That might be it. Quick repair. <laughs> Panic dropping the cluster bombs. Oh, don't come after me, Spitfire. Okay, I think the flat gun was somewhere just outside of Delta. But I think it's being towed around. I lost it again. Ah, I see tracers. I'm just gonna bomb the hedgerow. Come on. Yes, got it. <laughs> and some hits with the mines, too. Ugh, there's just so much flak now, and it sucks because this loadout just can't do anything with it. This guy is just nothing but flak. Ooh, there's a V1. Two V1s, I think. Or a mosquito. Yeah, the more of the map that they lock down, the less effective I'm going to be. Uh, ooh, ooh, too aggressive, too aggressive. Second flat gun got me while I was damaged there. This is nuts. They're machine gunning me, too. Ooh, and there's a Panzerfaust. So, yeah, the second weakness for that loadout is you have to fly pretty low to drop those mines, and you're pretty easy Panzerfaust bait. Well, let's go ahead and try out that cannon. So as you guys saw earlier, not super impressed. <laughs> well, there's a kill. Uh, yeah, see right there? The fire rate is just so slow that you might only get two shots as you dive before you have to pull out. And again, you're just so open to attack from handheld rockets. Hopefully we can pop a couple of tanks, see how it works against those, seeing it is an anti-tank cannon, but... Oh, man. Follow-up shots are really, really hard. I'm just going to keep making passes on A. For 
tracers. Hit markers. There's one, finally. I feel like the mosquito could have cleaned up right there. Oh, alright. That works. They're still over here at A. Finally pushing towards B, it looks like. Got a mosquito up. Try a quick shot. Oh, right in the tail. What is going on here at B? Yeah, I'm going to keep focusing fire on B for now. Oh, yeah, we have a, uh, a camera, too, for spotting. Ooh, 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 mosquito on us. Uh, there goes an engine. Come on. Pass us, pass us. Flax tearing him up. Wait, where did he go? The flag's still shooting. He got out of that stall directly over our flat gun. Okay. Well, I'm going to be sneaky here. Rep up, seeing he almost took us out with those first couple shots. And I'm going to try and return the favor. Hopefully he won't see us sneaking up here. Um, do you realize we're back here? Now he does. Not much you can do when you've got a plane with that cannon behind you, though. It's pretty nasty, as I've learned from experience. We're starting to lose more points, though. Another mosquito. See if I can lead him back to base. Hopefully someone's gonna watch the flat gun. Come on, chase me. There we go. Friendly flak is working. There's just no point in getting in your rear machine gun because all that happens is you get cannoned while you're floating there in the air. Cannon. Oh, yeah, that works. And now it's Spitfire. Uh, stalled out. I really hope these trees don't have a collision. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, it should not be turning this low. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Alright, let's get out of the stall all the way and try and... Ooh, got a hit. Uh, is he still going? Man. Ah, there he goes. So, no points for us. Ooh, well, all right. Yeah, this one you really have to work for, but let's try out that camera again. Maybe the smoke blocks it, because there were definitely a bunch of people down there. Uh, there's one in the trenches. Ooh, double kill. Yep, still a massive fight happening at Charlie, so try and keep the momentum going here. They're reviving down there. Is Starting to get paranoid now. Just constantly checking behind me for the mosquitoes. Uh, specifically because there is one behind me, I think. I'm gonna try and juke him here. No cannon so far, just the machine gun. And he's gone. So I don't think that's the usual guy. Uh, can I rep up and then... 
I'm going to go for the intercept. I don't think he realizes that I'm still following him. Ooh, two mosquitoes. Uh, which one do I chase? All right, I'll stick with the first one. Yes, okay. Uh, now let's find the second one. Okay, he's way out here. Still a massive fight on Beta. Try and get behind him. Oh, Dulo. That's an awkward angle with the cannon, so let's just keep him from repairing with the uh, machine gun. And down he goes. Oh, that's a AA tank. One hit, 35. And we gotta pull out of it. 37 for the second hit. He's down to three health, but the fire rate is just a little too slow with that angle. Oh, what is that angle? That was terrible. Uh, I tried to loop too hard. All right, one more. Come on, he's got to be almost dead. He's in town now. Oh, yeah, vehicle hit 25, so... I think that was a mosquito that tried to ram us. Again, Beta is just a mess. Look at all this. These passes are going to get me killed again. I'm a assault player's dream with all those low passes. So guys, that's going to be the round it looks like. The enemy has a nice comeback going on. That is the JU-88C. That round with the cannons. Definitely fun but uh, not nearly as fun as last week's gift to pilots, at least on the Allied side, the Mosquito. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.